where in the world do you go to shop for your bargains? Hi everybody, Deborah here, also known as Newbitch42, and it's time for Tuesday Reviews. Now most people know that I am a bargain hunter because I am. I love a good deal wherever I go. And you might think that bargain hunting just has to do with stores like Bargain Hunt, which I did a review about a couple weeks ago, link down below. And also like, you know, the dollar store and places like that. But you know what? You can find bargains in a lot of places, including places you may not have thought of, like Nordstrom Rack. Yeah, I know. Miss Cheapskate here gets stuff at Nordstrom Rack sometimes. Matter of fact, this dress. I finally wore it for the first time. I've had it since uh, middle of last year. They have clearance items all the time. Oh, yes, they do, especially at the end of season. So trying to get rid of stuff. They may only have one of an item left or two. It's, it's a hunt game to find stuff there. This dress, I think, originally sold for about $170. And you know me. I'm not spending $170 on just about anything, especially a piece of clothing that I'm not going to wear every single day. But <laughs> I love clearance. The day that I went to get this dress, not specifically to get this dress, I went to go looking around and seeing if I could find something. I found this Danny and Nicole. Don't know much about labels, so I don't know if that's good or fancy or not. In my size, in this dress, which was a 22 women's, hello, yes, they serve some of the big girls too. And the price that was marked on it, it originally was a hundred and something dollars. Down here was a tag that said 86. And I think that was their original price on it at the rack. But I got it for $20 and 97 cents. I mean, plus I had a coupon there, so I didn't actually spend even that much. And this is a nicely made quality dress. It's comfortable. I'll have a full body shot of it on my Instagram from the Sunday that I recorded these videos. Just saying because I have to record them all at once. But yes, wonderful deal. And you know what? That's not even the only one. I've got another dress that I haven't even worn out yet um, because it's very springtime and I bought it at the beginning of fall last year. It's this beauty. Look at those spring colors. Hello. It is absolutely gorgeous. The colors are totally me. And I even bought this before I dyed my hair these colors. Who knew? Let's look at the price tag, shall we? Now on this one, <laughs> I got an even better deal. Their price tag on it was marked 188 and change. Then it was marked down to 112 and change, which I still would not have spent because I'm me. Then their clearance tag said 47. But the day that I went, there was something about like an extra 20% off for doing this, that, or the other. I don't even remember. It's been too long. But I think I spent about $30 on this dress. It's freaking gorgeous. And it's so springtime. Comes with a nice little belt. It's nicely lined. It's so pretty. I really can't wait to wear it. I'm waiting till after Easter. I think that's the time to start wearing these colors. Follow your own rules. That's just my own personal one. Now, anybody who knows me personally and who's heard me rant about it a couple of times knows I've got ginormous feet. Okay, I'm a tall girl. I'm almost six feet tall and I wear a size 13 or 12 and a half in women's shoes. Hard to find? Mm-hmm, most of the time. But the reason that I ended up going into Nordstrom Rack in the first place was I heard that they had shoes in a bunch of different sizes. Guess what? They do. Now the shoe box lid is currently being occupied by my cat because I pulled it out of the closet and he thought he had to, to sit in it. Look at this. Born shoes. They have them in the European sizes because that's how these run. And I'm trying to remember how much I paid for them because the price is not on here. Um, I think it was no more than $25 because I'm cheap, but they had a whole section of clearance shoes. Let me show you the cute shoes. Look, now I have worn the fire out of these things. Um, 
Then I had my foot surgery and couldn't wear them for a while. I'm actually going to wear them again for the first time today in a long time, and I'm so excited. They are super comfortable, super cute. I have other shoes that I've bought. I have ankle booties that I've bought that I still have not gotten to wear because of that foot surgery. Soon, soon. But yes, they have a huge selection of shoes. Believe me, I'll be linking down below to this because they have an online presence as well. Now y'all know that I'm kind of makeup obsessed. Something that I think revived my makeup obsession was a trip to Nordstrom's one day because they had an entire huge bin display of some Too Faced makeup. This cute little palette. I'm gonna get closer so you can see it really well. Little tin palette. Eyeshadows with a little mirror, yes. It's called Rock and Roll. It's the Rock Candy Eyeshadow Collection. I picked it up at Nordstrom's, I think it was $10. You know, this at Too Faced was probably 25 or 35 uh, at Sephora or one of those. But I don't know, maybe they made too many of them. Maybe they weren't popular, but they ended up at Nordstrom Rack. I picked it up and decided, oh, that was fun. And I had to look into more makeup. And well, my makeup collection hates me, but I love it. <laughs> and I keep finding more and more good stuff. But yeah, this I found at Nordstrom Rack. They have a lot of home type goods. They have men's clothes, women's clothes, all kinds of shoes. I think they have kids stuff too, but I never look at that. Um, but it's fun to go look around. Don't let it scare you. When I first walked in there for the first time, right up front were these displays of pocketbooks. Now, like I've said, I'm a bargain hunter and I'm a cheap girl. The purses that they had marked down um, were on sale for about $250. <laughs> Sorry, that ain't happening. I was like, are you kidding me? Let's just go look for the hell of it because we're here. We might as well walk around. And then I started finding some of more my bargain types. Found a couple of cute items clothes-wise, found some shoes, decided, yep, I'll be back to quote the Terminator. Why? I don't know. I'm not terminating anything but my bank budget. Just saying. So don't be afraid to look for bargains in unexpected places. You never know what you're going to find. And But don't be dragged over to the dark side of the super expensive stuff in there. I mean, unless you've got the budget for it. You want to splurge? You do you. But I'm not spending $400 on a dress or on a purse. I've spent less on that for a car, one that actually ran. Yeah, I may have a bargain problem. Anyway, stick around. We have more reviews coming up further in the weeks. Click up here for a link to my other reviews. Uh, click down here to subscribe. Please click like before you go and tell me in the comments where you like to find your bargains. See ya.